Helping you live healthy. Fear, anxiety, and grief have all followed us during the pandemic and have taken a toll on many people's mental health. According to psychology experts, when people are under mental stress, there is a fight or flight response from the central nervous system. Because of the amount of energy needed to take on stress, it can put a major toll on our bodies. So joining us this morning to talk more about how we can reset for better mental health this year, Dr. Tracy Alloway, a psychologist right here in Jacksonville. Good to have you back, Dr. Alloway. Thank you so much for having me this morning. So we have really talked about mental health a lot more in the past couple of years. And certainly I think people would say that is a good thing because you can talk about the struggles that you are going through, not just physically, but mentally. And mm -hmm. with the pandemic, I see so many people just going through really, really stressful situations. Yeah, that's so very true. I see that also in my own practice as a licensed psychologist. And here's a good indicator for yourself that you can do at home to know exactly how intense and if indeed you are struggling. And really that first step is to have that sense of self-awareness. And it's a simple step. It says to take 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, what are your thoughts telling you? Do you find yourself reflecting upon the future? Maybe with some anxiety, maybe with some concern, but that's fine. However, if you notice that your thoughts are veering towards the past and you're ruminating, you're overthinking, you're kind of maybe regretting different decisions that you make. Researchers have found that the way in which you think whether you're future oriented or past focused can be a good indicator of where your mental health is at. So if you're constantly focused on the path, on, on the past, this could be a good clue that you may need to speak with someone about your mental health. Mm -hmm. Certainly want to have your eyes set on the future. You know, things might not have gone our way in the past, but the future can be so much better. So that 10 minutes is really a great way to start the day. What else can you do to make sure that your mind and body are right? Absolutely. And again, we often talk of self-care and me time. But again, studies have shown that when we devalue me time, especially if you're a parent and you prioritize your family, which is obviously a wonderful thing to do, but can come at the expense of our own personal mental health. But that simple mindset shift by just saying, look, I've got 10 minutes what value does this 10 minutes offer to me? Maybe it's just sitting and having a coffee in quiet. Maybe it's just going for a walk outside, but really shifting your perspective of your me time to recognizing and being intentional about what it is offering to you. And I tell my clients as a follow-up, every day when you wake up, pick a joy activity, pick something that you look forward to doing. It could be you know, having a lunch at your favorite place. It could be walking in your favorite park. But when you're intentional, it shifts that mindset to recognizing that there is a space that you're creating just to decompress, to recalibrate, which is so important for our mental health. And tell me about helping other people, because one of my resolutions for 2022 is to be able to build up other people as well. So it's not just me that's succeeding, but it's, it's them, too. So certainly you can be on the lookout for other people that might just need that extra motivation or encouragement. Yep, such a great uh, point to keep in mind. Empathy is obviously a key building block for social connection. It boosts our bonding hormone like oxytocin. So it's really important that we can be attentive to cues in other people. And that may be simply giving them a text, sending them a, you know, a message saying, hey, thinking of you today. And again, research has shown that it's, it actually boosts our own mental health when we take a moment to reach out to someone else. And if you're the kind of person that feels uncomfortable maybe making a call, the studies show that even a text or you know, a, a quick message can offer the same benefits, not just for the recipient, but for you as well. All right. Dr. Tracy Alloway, thank you so much. It's always good to have you on the show. Thank you.